In this video, we'll define the time value of money, the definitions of compounding and compound interest, and we'll walk through an example calculation. Lastly, I'll share takeaways and an unofficial recommendation for investing. According to Garmin and Forg, in their 13th edition of their textbook Personal Finance, they define the time value of money as a method by which one can compare cash flows across time, either as what a future cash flow is worth today, the present value, or what an investment will be worth in the future. One way to look at this is through money that's borrowed. If you buy a car today for $20,000, but you take out a loan, the lender is giving you $20,000 in today's money. But by the time your loan expires, that $20,000 will be worth more, which is why you paid interest. This is the future value of that $20,000. Garmin and Forg define compound interest as the earning of interest on interest. It arises when interest is added to the principal so that from that moment on, the interest that has been added also earns interest. Similarly, they define compounding as the addition of interest to principal. The effect of compounding depends on the frequency in which the interest is compounded and the periodic interest rate that is applied. Let's walk through an example. Let's assume you have $1,000 to invest. This $1,000 is known as your principal amount. We want our money to work for us, so we're gonna invest it for five years at a guaranteed rate of 10%, for example. It's a pretty simple calculation, actually. So in year one, we take our initial $1,000 and we multiply that by 10%. That earns us $100, so by the end of the first year, we have $1,100 in our pocket. In year two, we take that $1,100, multiply it by 10%, and we have $1,210. In year three, we take that $1,210, multiply it by 10%, and we have $1,331. In year four, we take that $1,331, multiply it by 10%, and we have $1,464. And then in year five, we take that $1,464, multiply it by our guaranteed rate of 10%, and we have $1,611. If I was gonna create something similar in Excel, it would look like this. The first column would list the years. Column two would be the amount that will earn interest year over year at 10%, our third column. And you can see here how the number grows based on the amount earned from the prior year. The fourth column is the amount of interest earned in dollars for that given year. Then the last column is the total earned for the year. You can see that after five years, you made your money work for you. An investment of $1,000 earns you $611 after five years at a rate of 10%. In this video, we reviewed the concepts of the time value of money and compounding. After walking through the example, you can actually see why people invest their money. My advice to you is this. Begin to invest your money at an early age and let it work for you. It is better to consistently invest $25 a month than $100 here and there. If you don't know which type of investment to pursue, I highly recommend researching a Roth IRA. I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck investing your money.